will not forget to subscribe and hit the bell and um, we're waiting for your comment but for our already subscribers we appreciate you so much for your patronage thank you stay tuned and enjoy this okay now this is a basic throw that we want to see and this throw comes like the two people are in kind of trying to struggle of about who to free who how to free who how to free now what happens is it is the smartest person that knows what to do that will actually succeed in this aspect because at a point I know there's 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 one there's one action that is very common to almost everybody when you are in this uh, kind of uh, action like you see somebody will try to do something like this to make the other person lose con uh, lose control but that technique is not very because it's very very known everybody is always conscious of it but this point we want to do what you're not very conversant with now from this point what happens is I use this elbow because I'm coming from this way now. I use this elbow. I make sure I sweep him a little bit and I do this. I go again. I step in by making sure my elbow strikes a little bit in between his elbow from the inside like that and his hand is off and I go in with a strike. With a strike here, and what I what I do now is I send my leg out immediately and he's down. Now I, I, de I decide to just hang him up here. I do not want him to go down completely. If I want to, I'll free him, he goes down. Now from here, he's at your mercy. Bam! Mm. You can do anything you want to do. Or you can decide to lock his hand. Okay. Right? Now we go ahead again to further explain this. Now watch from here, we lock up here, try to find a way to free ourselves. And what I do, I now switch a bit this way and make sure I stretch my hand a bit to make sure my elbow is positioned. And then I strike there, one, strike there, two. See what happens, then bow, it's down. I can punch this and lock him up this way. Alright. At least that is simplified enough to make you understand it. But let me just make it once more again for more emphasis. We go there. Do this, stretch this out, take this in while taking this in with a strike there and turn immediately and go. Now why do I have to do the two strikes? The first free in here is, is strike and the second stepping in before the actual throw is all goes with a strike too. Now why do I have to apply that? Is to make sure that I have taken him totally off balance. Because with that if I just want to just move in carelessly he might, if he is a sharp person or is a trained fighter, he might quickly read and read the move and understand quickly and know what to do. But by those strikes, will take him off balance completely. So one there, the hand is totally up. Now I step in with the strike here. Now this strike also disbalances him the more before the actual throw. All right. Okay. All right. Now let me. Finish the technique. I go, bam, goggle, goggle, one, two, bam, down, bam, here, and I decide to lock this. All right, so that is 
the first point we want to be done on the throne. So we are now going to take you on the second point, basic throw. Now this is how we go. Go. Now we are trying to see who can be smart enough to throw. Now I notice there's a way I can step in. Now first of all, I do this to weaken him. Now by doing this to weaken him, then I go here, bam, and it goes, bam, bam. Yeah. I throw two punches. One here, two there. One more. All right, come up. Okay. Now for further explanation, we go down again. Now, if I assumed before, I would have just done this. But it might be faster or smart to understand what I'm trying to do the moment my leg goes there. Now, by the time my leg is there, now you bend me backwards. <laughs> he will succeed to be the one throwing me down instead. But for me to be very sure and to be certain that I am 100% uh, in charge, I have to strike him a bit. That is what I just did. I strike him with my elbow, I mean my shoulder. Down, I sink it down and I move up mm, with the strike. Now that strike will give me a room to penetrate here with that and then throw. Simple. And I go one and two. There. And stamp if I want to. Pam, pam there. And stamp. Alright. I'll come up. It is a simple but somehow difficult technique because you need to be very very smart and calculative because what you are trying to think or plan your opponent who may be planning same or something close or similar okay like what I've just showed I've shown how you can how you can achieve that and a possible way that you might not be able to achieve it which of course lead to or led to the striking first before the actual uh, connecting of the leg and swinging and throw finally down. All right. Okay, we take that for the last time. Now we go. Then I go. Finish. Now let's walk on the number three points again to show you clearly. Like I said, we are both conversant and prepare to throw but nobody can throw anybody from whichever side because we are alert now but I still need to throw him from one side so how do I achieve that I need to play the fast one and what do I do one and two Pam. that is it Pam. and then ah, yeah. now the stepping the stepping helps me to disorganize him to make him lose focus and control I go one and two but so by the time I am landing I am taking the swift immediately so I don't lose any time so we take that scramble again go scramble scramble and scramble and I go one and two bam you see that bam and I go down simple as that but you need to apply the brain and be smart sharp we go for the last time so scramble there and there and there and there and there I go one and two Sam it bump here boom we are good to go the explanations I hope and I know is clear enough for you to understand what actually happened. The number four point of the basic throwing down. Now this time we are going to make it through a punch. It's coming with a punch and in the process I will counter and throw him down. Now let's see the punch. It goes, I block and I step in and bam! And I punch here 
Okay, we go that slowly. You take the punch again. I go one and slide in. Now, everything that you do, you must apply principle, professionalism. What happens there is it. After the strike, pump, I step in again with this. And then I try to control with here and swing. Okay, that is actually what happens to break down okay now let's go now to do it and a full swing swiftly now go one two right here and there so that is how it goes the swinging from the lock here here and here why i have to support this hand here is to make sure the hand doesn't slip off because if it slips off i might not actually get the throw i am looking for because this is what might happen okay but i need the throw the throw to be successful that's why i lock here to be able to get the throw completely all right so that is done. I think I don't need to explain too much on that because the explanation so far has been able to make the viewers, everyone to understand exactly how it works. So we are going to go straight now. That's the number fourth point. We're going to go straight now to the number fifth point. Now the number fifth point goes this way. Still come with a punch. I break with this, go back again. Now go again. I break. Now I do not move back. All I did is I wave back. Now the waving back, like a spring, I spring forward. Now springing forward with my elbow under his armpit. Now even if I do not apply the swing, the the thrust from the I mean the throw from the back leg, just this will take him down but I'm going to apply everything completely all right now let's go go I move and this now from here I can do this simple as that I will take it again slowly he comes with a punch. I move. See that? You need to be swift. Move again. Now from there, you can see the punch comes slowly. Go. I go. With this, waging the punch for my own slot. Now this, this is what happens. See that? So I go in. Now the going in, I slant my hand. That's why I kept it here. So that I slant it straight here here like I said here alone can still do the job even without me applying this here alone you do the job and you do the finishing okay what the techniques you are seeing I'll quickly say I'll say is that all professional techniques you need to know the principles of how to apply them you might see them as ah, they may, be, they may look simple, but the application and the knowledge of it is what matters. Right now, from here, take the punch, go one, and I do this, and it's down. When I go here, all right. With this, I don't think we have so, too much questions, I mean, uh, explanations to do with this. You can see what is happening to him now. Show you the effect of that throwing down. The throwing down also affects his shoulder because the striking of the elbow, the elbow strike goes straight here. He feels it. 
So that's what happens before the actual throwdown. So from here now, we're going to pause here till we meet next time. So for first timers, I still will always remind you, please do not forget or don't hesitate to subscribe, hit the bell, and then give your comments. Thank you. Cheers.